16-year-old Sophia Balan has played the viola since the age of six. My viola is so important for me because it's part of me and of my life. A life mostly centered around her eastern Ukrainian village in the Chernyiv region, not far from the border with Russia. A life filled with family, friends, and music. A life shattered when Russian tanks rolled by her home in February 2022. It was terrible. I'm just scared of shelling, bombing, everything. The music from her viola that once filled her life with joy faded amid dwindling opportunities to practice and play. Because when we were occupied, I played not very often. As the war dragged on, Sophia's parents realized she would need to flee the country to have some kind of meaningful future. That meant Sophia's mother, Oksana, would have to leave her husband behind in Ukraine, where men are needed to fight the war. Almost all the way. It's okay. Every day, someone died in the front line. Someone's brother or father or son. And it's so terrible. I want for her to have a choice. To have possible to get a good education. And make her own decision what to do, not what they left for Ukrainian children in Ukraine. Oksana succeeded in finding a program enabling them to resettle in the United States. They made the difficult journey from Ukraine to Chicago in November 2022. It's like uh, a trip to space because you don't know what is there, how it would be. They arrived with a pair of suitcases and Sophia's precious viola. <laughs> Since their arrival, the Balans have found an apartment and Oksana has found a job. But most importantly for Sophia, can you start again? The air is once again filled with the music of her viola. Music fills her soul. Stephen Gooden is the conductor of the Merritt Philharmonic Orchestra at Chicago's Merritt School of Music. Where two years after Russian tanks interrupted Sofia Balan's life, she is now not just learning, but playing her viola in front of audiences. And when you see her eyes light up when she's performing and her body move while she's playing, or we're in rehearsal and something was really special, or we're sure of the recording, any of those kinds of things, you talk to her, like she really feels like she belongs here. And I don't think there could be anything more special. So, yeah. It's something that calms me down. I switch my attention from that thing I've been worrying about and focus on the moment to play my best. It calms me down. While Sofia is fulfilling the reasons that motivated her mother Oksana to leave their lives in Ukraine behind, Chicago and the Merritt School of Music are only stops on her journey to eventually return to Ukraine. Because it's my motherland where I was born and grown up. Bum, 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 where? And where she resolves to one day join the fight against the Russians with her viola at her side. Is it possible to carry a viola and a machine gun at the same time? She says yes, of course. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Chicago.